have got a towel here that has been used and left unwashed for a few days. I will cut this towel up into smaller pieces, leaving one piece as a control. I'm sending all the samples to a lab to be tested for total bacterial count and colour brightness. We tested for total plate count. Total plate count is a count which encompasses many different bacteria like mold, E. coli, your staph aureus, which is commonly found on the skin. So Diana, let's zoom in on the results. For the antibacterial washers, they reduce by almost 100% of your bacterial count. Even though uh, regular detergent, they may not advertise it as antibacterial quality, it in fact contains antibacterial quality within it. Yes, correct. What about the colour brightening detergents? How did those perform? So we tested on this uh, purple colour towel. The results were not conclusive enough. Maybe because of the colour and the material of these towels, they couldn't effectively capture the chemical compound in them and show the colour brightness. Mm. So what you're saying is that at least on this colour and on this fabric, you couldn't tell any difference yes. uh, in the colour changes, whether the colours were, 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 were optimised or not, yes, were correct. brightened or not. Yes, correct. Would you know what kind of material or fabric and even colours will work better with the brightening detergents? I think the materials good for colour brightening uh, detergents are maybe polyester or cotton. The indoor drying ones, we tested for the bacterial count as well. So in this mm. table, you can see that the liquid and the powder indoor detergents, they remove it by 99.999% of the uh, total bacterial count. So with a low bacterial count, there's a low chance for mold to grow. So there's a low chance for your fabrics to have a, a bad odour. However, mm. the other washers also showed a low bacterial count. How did the alternative laundry cleaners do compared to the normal detergent? So the alternative laundry, they did pretty similar to your, um, your conventional detergents, your no detergent wash and your laundry ball. They removed about 99.98% of your total bacteria. Mm. While your eco wash, they reduced about 99.998%. One thing that we could physically tell was the fragrance. So for your laundry ball and your no detergent wash, there were no fragrance because there were no uh, added additives inside. To ensure that you use the correct amount of detergent to your laundry load, which usually is, uh, is written on your packaging of the detergent. So another thing would be making sure your washing machine is actually clean. If you don't maintain it well, bacteria will form a sort of a biofilm which will latch onto your fabric even after washing. Just by uh, frequent washing of your laundry, it doesn't mean that your washing machine is clean. Make sure you use one of these, a washing machine cleaner. Put the powder into the drum and then set the machine to run a cycle. Do this at least once a month and you will get clean clothes as well as a clean washing machine. Can I mix my kitchen towels, my bath towels together with the clothes that I wear? Assuming this is my red cloth and I used to wipe, you know, tomato spills, wine spills. Imagine if I threw this in together with my other clothes I would wear in the wash. It's disgusting.